Hi, I'm John. I'm Dean. We're here with Chimney Cricket TV. Today we're discussing chase covers, chase pans, and uh, also different types of chase covers. Chase covers are important because for a factory built fireplace, they keep the water off the chimney. Uh, they, 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 they fail after a certain amount of time. And a big reason for that is the way that they were constructed uh, originally. Uh, chase covers originally are, are, were built by the actual homeowner on a house and they were built out of sheet metal and basically they didn't have any of the uh, things that now we know that they should have such as ridges on the top of a chase cover as you see here in the back. They don't have the, a, a nice seal around the hole and the collars aren't as high or if they don't have the collar. And then also on the sides, here on the side here is this one. They don't have the drip edge with the 45 for the water to run off. Um, so we have, why you need to replace them is because they're faulty. They're faulty. They allow water and moisture to get inside the chimney. It falls on top of the chimney. Uh, not on top of the chimney, but on top of the firebox. It will rust out your components. You will get mold. You'll get uh, the, the, the actual chase itself will start to erode. Having a good uh, chase cover is almost like a shoebox top going on top of a chase to protect that water from the entry of getting inside the chimney because chimneys deteriorate from water getting inside and doing their damage. A good chase cover from Chimney Cricket will prevent the water from getting into your chimney. So what do you say, Dean? Let's, uh, let's show these customers how we're going to measure for a chase cover. Okay, we're going to show you how to measure for a chase cover. Um, we have a form that you would uh, go step by step with, very easy to follow. Uh, what you want to do, well first of all let me talk about the different types of uh, chase covers that there are. This one right here in front of me is a stainless steel. This comes with a lifetime warranty, guaranteed to never rust or corrode. It'll outlive your, your chimney. Um, it's, this is a very, very superior product. Um, it comes with one, you can get them with one hole or you can get them with multiples. This one has two over here. Uh, this one here is galvanized. This is a multiple uh, fluid, multiple hole chase pan. Uh, notice the uh, ridges they got here. This is what's called cross-breaking metal. That'll actually help shed the water off of the top of the chase pan. Uh, when the builders put them on, they just put a flat piece of sheet metal up there. The water collects up on there, it rusts. This cross breaking in the metal will actually help shed the water and it gives it strength too. Uh, the collars come up off the top, they're actually welded, and then they put a, uh, a 50 year caulk around the seam to keep any moisture from getting in there. Uh, the collar sticks up so that water cannot penetrate down into the hole here. The pipes would actually come up through the center of these holes and then they would have their own chimney cap on top of the pipes. On the sides, this is called the skirt. This is uh, this actually overhangs the chase. And at the bottom of the skirt, here at Chimney Cricket, we always recommend and we add a drip edge. This is a 45 degree bevel that will keep the water uh, from running down the side of the chase. It will actually kick the water out and drip, drip it off of the edge of the uh, pan so it doesn't contact the chase. Um, very critical that you have a good functioning uh, chase cover on your chimney to keep uh, the rain out. Uh, like John said earlier, the, uh, the rain can uh, rot out the wood structure inside the chase. Uh, the water can rot out your uh, metal firebox inside the chase. You can get mold growing in there and uh, all sorts of nasty stuff can go on in there uh, to the point where you, you could actually have to have that chase completely rebuilt. Okay, first we're going to measure for it. You've got to determine whether you have a single flue or a double flue. Um, you just by looking at the top of the chimney, you're going to see how many pipes are coming up out of the top of the chimney. Um, typical insulation is going to be a single flue. Um, sometimes you're going to run into a double flue. Sometimes you're going to run into a multiple flue. And we're going to show you how to measure each and every one of those individually. So right now we're going to start with a single flue chase cover. We're going to measure the long side first. All right, right here we have 27 and a quarter. What I'm doing is I'm measuring the existing chase cover that is on the chimney right now, okay? Um, I got 27 and a quarter to 
be on the safe side, I would go 27 and a half on that, just to give us enough play so that we're not trying to force it down onto the chase itself. Uh, so we got 27 and a half this way, and then on your form it'll say to go to the, the width, and you want to go clockwise. So we're going to move over here to the short side, and we're going to measure the short side. Here we have 21 inches. Again, let's make it a half inch bigger so that we're not fighting it. So let's go 21 and a half. Going clockwise again, we're going to measure the second length. Again, we have 27 and a quarter. Let's go ahead and go 27 and a half so again, we're not fighting it. Okay, we're going to measure our last short side here. Um, we have 21, again, 21 and a quarter. Again, let's go 21 and a half. Uh, just so we're not fighting it. Um, so this one is square. This one is good. Sometimes you'll run into a chase that the carpenter built and maybe it's out of square. That's why we need to get each individual measurement. We can't just assume that the structure is square and, uh, and make the chase cover perfectly square or it's not going to fit right. So we have to measure each side individually and mark it on the sheet so that way, if it is a, if the chase if the chase structure is out of square, we can make we can actually make the chase cover out of square to fit on top of that particular chase. Um, next thing you're going to want to measure is your pipe coming out of the top of the chase cover. Uh, two ways you can do this: you can either eyeball it, where you take your tape measure and go from side to side and get your measurement, let's say it's a 14 inch pipe, um, or you can actually measure the circumference of the pipe. Actually put your tape measure around the pipe itself. Okay, so the pipe's gonna be sticking out. Wrap your tape measure tight around that pipe, and that'll give you a measurement, and then you divide that by 3.14, which is pi, and that'll actually give you your diameter of your pipe.